Qualifying time for TCR on Oak Hill and the sun is out. Although it's behind a little bit of a cloud, temperatures are still up. So let's see what the drivers have got to say about qualifying. This morning's last practice session was very, very fast. Dan Lloyd managed to get sub-50 seconds round here, sub-51 seconds. But Derek Palmer Jr., we haven't really caught up with you too much this weekend or this week. How's things going in the car? Are you set and ready for qualifying? I think we are now, fighting a good fight. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do in this session, but we'll uh, try and get a banker in and then just uh, send it. Pace is hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's very quick. I mean, this morning when they, I guess they put the new tyres on, it was an impressive lap time, you know. Um, 50, late 50 seconds, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's shifting. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, uh, you know, you've got a good teammate, you've got Aidan Muffet. Are you using some of his data to help you? Yeah, for sure. Like, it's learning all the time from him. Um, we've had our own small issue with the brakes, which has kind of been hampering us, but hopefully we've got that sorted now, and then that should let us really focus on uh, on really trying to get a time in. So that, that's the, the main focus on this. And, uh, yeah, new boots on this time, and see how we go. Listen, good luck. We're going to go and catch a word with the fastest man of the weekend so far. He's down here drinking a little bottle of water. That's Dan Lloyd with his teammate, the West Coast Racing Man. OK, a little bit of hydration before you start here, but you sent a message to everybody this morning when you're on 50.9. It's qualifying now, though. This is where it really counts. Yeah, exactly. It was a good time this morning. I think it, we might actually go slower this afternoon because it's got a lot hotter. Track temps are at, like, 32, 33, so... I think a low 51 would be a good lap time, but we'll see. Are you going to work as a team together here, or is this every man and woman for theirself? Normally you can strategise a little bit when you go out, especially when we're in order. But because the front wheel drive cars, you struggle to get heat in the rear. So we go out, get some heat in the front, then we change them over. So by the time we've come in, change them over and all the rest of it, then we're kind of all muddled up anyway. So I think it's just go for it. And good luck for qualifying. If the if the last three practice sessions end to go by 50.9, you know, you certainly did give them all a message. We're going to go and grab a word with Ollie Taylor, Taylor now, just up here. Um, we've been threatening to grab a word with Ollie all day. We'll just get Bryn Lucas out the road there. It's always a good thing to do. So we haven't caught up with you yet, but now we're doing it right before qualifying. I did ask you off air how you were looking at things and how the car was going. So is the weekend going to plan? Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, it's all going well. Um, car's doing great. Love the circuit. Weather's holding out. So yeah. Just the weather's lovely, isn't it? Does, you know, this heat, is it making you adjust the car in any sort of like direction? Not particularly, no. We've done a little bit of um, hot running before. It doesn't seem to really be an issue. Uh, I'm happy for it to stay sunny, or if it wants to rain, I'm, I'm way welcome anything. Yeah, you've got a good teammate yourself and Finlay Crocker both running out the pyre. Obviously, they're different cars. Is there any kind of you know, help coming from Finlay? Because he does know the circuit that a little bit better. I think we can bounce off of each other as a team. You know, I ask each other, how are you doing this? How are you doing that? Uh, I don't think many people have got experience with it running in this direction, so anything you can get, uh, anything you can get in, insider info is a great help. Let's make the best of luck for qualifying. I'll let you get, you'll get yourself ready. So there we go. We're going to come back with the top three at the end of qualifying. Let's see if Dan Lloyd can take that morning's pace, the 50.9 he set, and can he take that and get pole position for TCR? 